Let's ask the wine ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne. And welcome everyone to One Sip at a Time. Thanks for joining us this evening. Now we are here in the stunning Ristorante, Gucci Ristorante actually, <laughs> located in Oakville, Ontario. And we are here for the first inaugural Open Up Your Heart Winemakers Dinner. It's a fundraiser for the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Ontario. Now February may be known as the month for love and Cupid and Valentine's Day, but it's also known as Heart Month. And that month, thousands of Canadians join forces to help this very important cause. Now, did you? you know that one out of three Canadians is struck down by heart and, heart and stroke disease every year. Even our own family, our own mom died last year in 2009 from heart and stroke. So this is a cause that's very near and dear to our hearts. Absolutely. Now we're going to have a lot of fun tonight raising funds for the mm -hmm. Heart and Stroke Foundation. We've got scrumptious food. Mm -hmm. Executive chef Gordon Goss has got an incredible menu set out for us. We've got some incredible wines to enjoy. A Mary McKay, the jazz trio is going to be playing. And we've also got two very special guests that have come in this evening, as this is a winemaker's dinner. All the way from the new kid on the block, actually, <laughs> Green Lane Winery, we're going to be starting off with Diane Smith. Also, they say it's a family affair and that blood is always thicker than water. Well, we're talking about wine in this case. We've got one of the fabulous Speck brothers that will be joining us here this evening as well, Matthew Speck, and he's a viticulturalist over at Henry of Pel Pelham Winery. So we're looking forward to talking to Matthew as well. Absolutely, and the final winery to round things off is actually from Jackson Triggs Winery, and they, Suzanne, have brought in Canada's iconic ice wine, and I do believe they brought in their Gewürztraminer. <laughs> How sweet it is. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like the guests are starting to arrive. We're going to have a fantastic night, and let's, we always say that a glass of red wine is very good for the heart and very good for the soul, so why don't we enjoy a sip now? before everyone starts to get here. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Suzanne. Matthew Speck. Matthew is a viticulturist at Henry of Pelham, the winery in Niagara, one of the premier award-winning wineries that are known for their fabulous VQA wines and that have also been one of the pioneers with the Vitis Vinifera grapes. Is wine made in the vineyard or in the winery? The character of the wine is set in the vineyard. You, you can't, yeah, I always like to say that, like, imagine a winemaker like a chef. They take the ingredients, yeah. um, and the, the character and flavors are created in the vineyard first. Mm -hmm. And a good winemaker is a vineyard grower as well, as a vine grower as well. And the, when the winemaker then can take those flavors and translate them as purely as possible into the finished bottle, but you don't create new flavors in the wine. You, right. you carry through and express and enhance what you already have to work with, just like a great chef does uh, with the with ingredients. They can't, you can't take lousy ingredients to make a great meal, but you can take great ingredients and make an outstanding meal even better. So it's a, it's really, uh, it's an integrated process. But the vineyard is is um, what sets the table. So, so speaking of the chef, uh, we've you've got two courses and two wines of Henry Appellans that we're going to be yeah. pairing up with um, this uh, this evening. The first one is. A a mushroom risotto with truffle oil mm -hmm. and I believe we have the 2007 Pinot Noir Reserve yes. to go with that um, and that was a fantastic year wasn't it? 2007 was a phenomenal growing season as a viticulturalist it was a dream we, it was uh, dry and warm and uh -huh. those are the things we generally look for right great season uh, long summer long summer okay and um, and so yeah, and probably particularly for red wines and that we had this very uh, extended warmth that went all the way through the fall, very long fall season. Yeah. And so the red wines were very developed flavors, very developed tannins, very ripe flavors. And uh, so yeah, we, we love them. And they're also wines, um, a season like that also tends to produce wines with structure, tannin and structure that will also allow for cellar aging, particularly oh, okay. in the reserve wines. Great. And, uh, awesome. It's a very exciting wine. It's great food, food wines. We are joined by Marco Pico. Marco is the winemaker here at Jackson Triggs, uh, Niagara on the Lake. Marco, great to be here on, on your turf. Uh, thank you for coming and having me over. Oh, well, it's our pleasure to be here with you. Now, being a winemaker, is it more about the science or more about the art? I think it's more about um, passion and curiosity. Passion yeah, because and curiosity, is that yeah, what you said? Oh, yeah, because okay. I think it's an industry that 
it evolves a, a lot. It's mm -hmm. very, it's weird because it stays, is a lot of tradition in winemaking. Yeah. Okay, it's the way you see when you come, also when you walk, come here at JT and you walk around mm -hmm. the facility, there's a lot of kind of technology, but basically is the tradition of how, the, right. in the old days, we're making wine, right? Yes. The only difference is that probably uh, 100 years ago, they were making five barrels, now we make. How many do you make anyway? Well, we make around, <laughs> we make around 1,200 tons a year here. Wow. So we are looking That's around 100,000 cases for a brand. Yeah. But yeah, passion, curiosity, because as I said, is a wine is a, it's an industry that changes a lot every year, mm. right? There's a lot of researches, yes. there are a lot of disco new things that are coming out. So you have to keep up with that. Yeah, and then you need to have the curiosity to, to look for something different as well, uh -huh. new and different. And passion, because as I said, is an industry that is pretty challenging, uh, mm -hmm. because every year you have to deal with, with new yeah, challenges. Like yes. Everywhere, but here you deal with Mother Nature, right? Mm -hmm. So you cannot really contrast or... Right, or, there's no guarantees mm, of Mother no. Nature. As a woman, you can't trust sometimes, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Well, here we are with one of our winemakers this evening, the stunningly beautiful and accomplished Diane Smith from Green Lane Estate Winery. And in fact, they are the newest kid on the block. They just started their winery back in June, is that right? Yeah, we opened our doors in July. In July, okay. And how's it going so far? <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. It's been a brilliant year. We were very much blessed with a gorgeous vintage and we're very, very excited. We're a small estate winery, about 21 acres, uh, five different varietals, and even though we're brand new, we've got some gorgeous age on our 21-year-old vines, a few of our blocks. Now, what, which are those? Now, this is the this is the time, everybody, where it's good to have a little bit of age on. <laughs> <laughs> no Botox in those um, vineyards, I guess. Not in our <laughs> so we've got a Cab Merlot actually that we're going to be joining this evening. Absolutely. And I understand some of your older vines are the Cabernet. Is that correct? That's correct and we also are blessed with 20 year old Riesling vines on property which we're mm. thrilled with and we're just getting ready to bottle a couple of wines from this past vintage one of which is that 20 year old Riesling so we're thrilled we're really excited by it good things coming and speaking of some lots of exciting new things that are going to be coming up we had the opportunity to interview Diane a few weeks ago on our TV show and you mentioned at that time that you had something very sassy that you were working on uh, is now the time where you might be able to reveal what that wine is? I do actually. We've done a rather sassy blend. I think I have enough sass for most of the wineries, but a Pinot Gris <laughs> Riesling blend. Beautiful, Lovely. fresh, really aromatic. That'll be coming out with our other two releases, our Young Riesling and our Old Finds Riesling for the New Releases Festival in June. All right, well, it's all about the bling, and George and I are very, very fortunate this evening because we have been blinged out big time. We've got Nikki Clark, who is the jewelry designer, who has generously donated these fabulous jewels for us this evening, as well as an incredible silent auction prize. Nikki, thank you so very much. Oh, you're welcome, and you, you bring on the bling very well. <laughs> Good representation. Well, thank you. Maybe you can tell about me. This is great. It's a fundraiser for the Heart and Stroke Foundation. How fitting that we have a heart. I absolutely love my piece. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about B for Help and about the jewelry that we're wearing tonight. Sure, I'd love to. Well, this is uh, my bling theme, uh, B for H bling, and uh, what it is, it's uh, white gold with uh, cubic zirconia pendant in the uh, shape of a heart, which I really was thought I thought was really fitting for this evening, and you wear it beautifully. And uh, for Georgia, the same idea with the white gold, but a little splash of silver and red in a kind of a floral detail in that pattern. Another generous sponsor, uh, Amato from Wine Awakenings, who in fact our way to help uh, people learn about the fundamentals of wine. 
So wine awakenings is a set of aromas. We are specific to certain varieties, or we make the all red, all white kit, which are featured here uh, this evening. And basically what we do is help people train their olfactory system, which is their sense of smell, which is absolutely critical when one learns to appreciate wine. Yes. So that's what we do, and, and uh, we've been getting some uh, great feedback from customers where a company in its present format that's all of a year old, we're Niagara-based. Oh, you're a baby. We're a baby. We're a baby company. The product existed for a few years before that, but we relaunched it, repackaged, we offered it to the marketplace, and uh, we've been getting some great, great reviews, and it's, it's just a whole lot of fun to be part of the industry. So we'd like to quickly just thank some of our, our sponsors. First of all, Fortune's Fine Jewelry out of Toronto. They make exquisite jewelry. And O'Connor McLeod, um, they are our silver sponsors this evening, so we want to thank them very much. And uh, bronze sponsors, uh, we have Jason Greenlees from RBC Dominion Securities and also Dr. Richard Casey. He's a urologist and the founder of Male Health Centers here in Oakville. And of course, on the back of the menus, we have listed all of our fabulous sponsors that have contributed in kind or in, in um, helping us out. So please have a look at that, as well as the fabulous PowerPoint presentation that I've put together. <laughs> I'm very proud of that. <laughs> yes, thank you very you much. You didn't live with her while she was working on it. Yes. Let me tell you. I want that logo. <laughs> that Give me a, that darn logo. It was so. a labor of love. We are standing here now with uh, Darlene Gennaro. Darlene is the proprietor of Enchanted Decor, who has generously donated the stunning painting behind us here for our event. Uh, Darlene? Wait a second. Oh. Don't forget about Deb Jackson over here, too. Right. She's the manager <laughs> of the store. Right. And uh, she runs the shop day by day, I right? do, and I love every minute of my working day. Fantastic. <laughs> so maybe we can start off with, first of all, let, we've already got some pretty hefty bids on that painting over there, Actually, Darlene. the owner of uh, Poochie Restaurant has bid $350 dollars already well, on that I was painting. Saying, it looks amazing it's, in this decor in here so I'm glad to hear that he's doing that. Yeah and if good. he wins that that'll be a great reminder of this fabulous event. Uh, okay. they'll, they'll, he'll remember it day and day and day and day. And he will. <laughs> day and he, in day out. That's yeah. what you meant to say. <laughs> yes. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about the painting. Yeah it's a Renwell canvas a high gloss painting by Stephanie Fontaine and uh, we, we sell a lot of their artwork in our store and uh, this one I thought would be a great opportunity to showcase what we sell and at the same time it's for a great cause so we were happy to do that. Awesome, thank you. We have with us uh, Trina Carey who is the area manager for the Heart and Stroke Foundation here in Oakville and Burlington too I think? Milton, Burlington, Oakville. Okay, so the Big area, big area. Yes. So we were talking that, um, you know, the way the economy is right now, that um, it is quite difficult to do fundraising for, you, know, you said there's lots of different causes out there. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, there's, there's so many fantastic causes in our area, and there's so many generous people in Halton. Um, but we have to educate people as to what their money is going to. So I think that that is the real challenge, is getting the message out there so that people understand what they're giving to. And with our economy, a lot of times those dollars are, are, are tight. So we want to make sure that we make people understand how near and dear to their heart a different charity would be. You know what? It's been an amazing night here. We've all had an absolutely fabulous time. And I got to say, I think we all look pretty good, girls. What would you say? Hot. <laughs> Sizzling, baby. And you know what? Who's responsible for a lot of that, I got to say, is we've got Wendy Crystal here. She is the founder of Inspire Cosmetics, as well as Tanya Andretti. She is also co-owner. And this is an unbelievable line of cosmetics and skin care. And it's got there's a whole fantastic story behind it. So, Wendy, Maybe we can start with you and you can tell us a little bit about it. Okay, actually Tanya and I have been friends for 27 years and I'm a full-time Ford model in the industry. She's soccer mom of two, works full-time. So we decided to customize something for women to customize a line that they desire.
desire within Inspire. So we've developed a small amount of products to create a multitude of looks that's all protective and wonderful for your skin. So you have breathable, wonderful skin and everybody can feel beautiful and great. And you've been so generous this evening because you guys have donated a fabulous lip gloss in a number of colors for everybody's gift bag, as well as a 20% discount on Inspire Cosmetics. So everyone that came to the event this evening will get a gift bag including this fabulous lip gloss. Yeah! I love it.